spectacular for the rest of the day. So, you're in for a real great day, and if you're heading to see Dave Matthews, the news is all good. We're going to have much more weather for you. Expect fair skies Monday through Wednesday with temperatures in the 60s on Monday. It's 10 minutes now before the top of the hour. Time for your tropical update. I'm Marnie Stanier. Thanks for joining us. The tropics are really heating up. We're keeping an eye on several different systems, including Hurricane Juan in the Atlantic. Check out this visible satellite picture of Juan. Still turning away in the Atlantic, not a threat to the lower 48, but you can certainly pick out a well-defined eye with this storm as it tracks off to the north. This storm will make landfall around Nova Scotia, probably very close to Halifax, tomorrow night and on into Monday morning. Back to our maps, a closer look at our storm and we show you Juan again north of Bermuda and then we also have tropical storm Kate and this continues to turn in the Atlantic here's a different perspective showing you Kate this was just upgraded to a tropical storm a couple of hours ago there we have Juan and we also have another area of disturbed weather in the Western Caribbean we'll talk more about that coming up in just a minute but if you're plotting Juan it's at 35.9 north at 63.4 west and this is the 5 o'clock advisory, which puts it about 645 miles to the south of Halifax, Nova Scotia. Still packing winds to 105 miles an hour, moving north-northwest at 8. Estimated pressure at 970 millibars. Again, there's Bermuda. It's well to the north of there. It's not going to uh, make landfall in the lower 48, but it does look like it will make landfall around Halifax uh, tomorrow night and on into Monday morning. And again, the perspective shows you um, our storm. Now, the one thing you do need to know if you live along the northeastern corridor that you might get some high swells from Juan and also some rip current. So that's a threat for the next 24 to 48 hours. Tropical storm Kate. This was just a depression earlier, but was upgraded. It's about 21.5 north, 40.4.4 west. That's about well, it was well over a thousand miles east, northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Winds to 40 miles an hour, moving wet north, northwest at 14. Pressure at 1,005 millibars. Not a very organized storm. Fortunately, it is moving north, northwest. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Here's a different perspective showing you how it looks. Actually, we'll take you to the Western Caribbean. And I want to zoom in on this area because in the Western Caribbean, we have a little area of disturbed weather. No surface low with this. However, a lot of tropical moisture. We think that a lot of this moisture will be pulled on into Florida over the next uh, couple of days or so. Right now, we also have more moisture flowing in across the uh, Gulf of Mexico, but this is just going to add insult to injury with more moisture flowing right into South Florida. It really can't move into the Gulf of Mexico because a front is moving down and that's going to help to push the moisture into Florida. Nothing really to talk about in the Eastern Pacific. Of course, last week we were tra tracking Marty. That is no longer a disturbance. Beautiful weather around the Baja for folks visiting there. Great weather in the West and over the central U.S., but a lot of stormy conditions. Severe weather from New York State South, where we're already seeing some reports of damage, some high winds, and also reports of some hail from Pennsylvania down to parts of Tennessee. We want to remind you, too, that flash flood watches remain in effect from New York State to parts of Northern Virginia. Some of these slow moving cells are really dropping some rain. We're talking about one to two inches of rain in a very short period of time. By the way, this watch area remains in effect. It means severe storms are possible into the evening hours for this region. Some of these storms have just been tremendous. Right here, the strongest storms over southern portions of Pennsylvania. And they're, uh, again, dropping one to two inches of rain in a very short period of time. So watch out for some ponding on the roadways. We always tell you this, but don't cross any roadways that are covered with water. Here's a different perspective of these storms crossing from Alabama into Georgia. Looks like they're knocking on the door. If you're watching us from Atlanta, Georgia, we're hearing some rumbles of thunder here at our Weather Channel studio. So one last shot of the national picture, and it is going to be a stormy night. <laughs> it sure is. Stay with us. We're just getting started. That's right. We'll have more on the stormy east, plus a look at fall coming up. It's time to pick favorites at Red Lobster. Choose freshly breaded shrimp, delicious shrimp scampi, or one of our bold new tastes. Mix and match any two dozen for $9.99. Dozens of shrimp, just $9.99. Now at Red Lobster. Share the love. Brittle nails that break and won't grow? Get Nutrinail. Short, brittle nails grow in just five to seven days. Nutrinail. Short, brittle nails grow. Guaranteed. Oh, what a shot. 
Who are you? I'm with the Sons Without Dads organization. Who are you? I'm his dad.